I'm a fan of the show, though. I mean, I love cars and I love car chases, so perfect for me. All right, then. No, that's my door. Pick another door. What's wrong with you? I play uh, a character called Deckard Shaw. He's been part of the Fast and Furious franchise for the last two or three. My name is Idris and uh, I'm playing Brixton Law. You want a war? Okay. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. He's the bad guy. He's a soldier, an ex-soldier who has been modified. His body, his brain, his abilities have been modified. I'm Black Superman. First time I came on screen to play a part in the Fast and Furious franchise, I came on as a bad guy. And as we learn a little bit more about Deckard, you get to find out he's not exactly as bad as people would have perceived him in the, uh, in the first outing. And when we meet him, he's a man on something in the past that happened between them starts to, to, to come to the surface. Luke Hobbs and Deckard Shaw. We've got unfinished business. We get to discover a little bit more about him on this turnaround. We get to delve into his family life. We find out about his sister and his mum. And Brixton, he's part robot, but he's part human as well. These are two characters from the universe. That whole crew from the Fast and the Furious family, they're not in this film. This is just a, a, a tale about two guys and we're just, you know, spinning them off into a direction where we can follow those two for a moment. And we get to discover a little bit more about these two people. This feels a lot more smaller, but equally as, you know, big, you know, it's got action and it has at the central characters a lot of that camaraderie, that sort of brother to brother sort of thing. I see what you're doing. You think I'm stupid? Of course I think you're stupid. You know, Dwayne's easy to work with and uh, I think he found the same thing about me. We enjoyed a lot of this oil and water that doesn't mix. You know, it's two guys that can't be in the same room. We just said, oh, I wish we had a little bit more of this. As time passed, we really got to have more of it. <laughs> Probably too much for everybody, <laughs> but we'll find that out later. This film is its own lane. You know, it definitely has, it feels like a Fast and Furious movie, but I think it's got a slightly different lane. On my three, one, ah! <laughs> Woo! And it's funny. You know, he's got a lot of weaknesses. <laughs> the physical appearance doesn't seem to be that way. His jaw, that's his weakness. <sighs> But I think his weakness is that he's an emotional guy that cares a lot about his family. I guess it's a weakness and a strength. My weakness? Oh, well, that's a tough one. Weakness of Brixton is the fact that he's trying to dominate. He's trying to see a better world through his own eyes. My heart. My heart. That's my weakness. You've got delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Too big. His family, his sister, his mother, his family is his weakness. I guess everybody's is. I mean, where do we where do we land if we don't have family? Uh, about life, you know, it's the one thing that brings us together. It's the one thing that we'd fight for over anything. Now I know you guys are a family, so I'm offering you a chance right now to make that family whole again. It's something that works because we relate to it. As uh, it doesn't matter where you're from, if you're, you know, from privileged beginnings or from the street, the family value, hopefully, is is always strong and in your heart. Each of those guys, each of those characters, have some some strengths. You know, I think the truth is they win when they play together. 